Welcome to TeachMeAuto.com. In this video, we're going to show you how to change oil in this 2007 Chevrolet Silverado. Yeah, and if you have never changed the oil in your vehicle before, we invite you to go out there and watch the video, the basic tools you'll need to change the oil in your vehicle to kind of familiarize yourself with the tools and the applications for each one. Today we're using car ramps instead of jack stands. If you decide to use ramps like these, you'll need another person to help you pull the vehicle on there so it's positioned safely. Make sure the parking brake's set before you crawl underneath the vehicle. Now we're ready to drain the old oil out by removing the drain plug. The drain plug on this truck requires a 13 millimeter wrench or socket and ratchet. Before you move the plug, make sure you have your drain pan properly positioned. If you have driven the vehicle within a short period of time, make sure it is cooled off, probably at least 30 to 45 minutes. Once all the old oil is drained out, remember to put your plug back in and turn it clockwise to tighten it up. Take your ratchet or your wrench and snug it down. But don't over tighten. You don't want to strip your plug out. Next, remove the old oil filter. For this vehicle, we found it easiest to use a band type filter wrench to loosen it. You can pick those up at most any auto parts store. Once you have it loose enough of the wrench, you just reach up there with your hand and spin it off to remove it. Greg took the old filter off, and these oil filters have a rubber gasket that helps seal against the engine block and it keeps the oil from leaking, of course. When we put a new filter on, we want to just take a little bit of the new oil and squirt on there, and we want to rub some fresh oil around that gasket. And this will help keep that gasket from baking to the engine. When you remove the old filter, make sure this gasket comes off and is not stuck to the engine block. If it is, and you put the new filter on top of it, you'll have a leak. It's time to install the new oil filter. Put it in place and turn it clockwise to tighten. When the filter first makes contact with the engine, you need to turn another half to three quarters of a turn, just enough to seal it so it doesn't leak. You never use a wrench to tighten the oil filter. Now we need to add the fresh oil. First we remove the oil cap and place the funnel in proper position. Now you really can't tell from this angle, but the truck is still on ramp, so it's quite a bit higher than normal. Obviously we can't tr crank the truck to back it off the ramps because it doesn't have any oil in it. So in order to reach up there, in some cases, you might need a step stool or some type of stand. That'll help you add the oil in there without having to reach up there and stretch and potentially maybe risk spilling it. Now we're ready to remove the funnel and put the oil cap back on. Now we check the oil level. First we remove the dipstick and wipe the old oil off. We'll reinsert the dipstick. And now we remove the dipstick. The oil level will probably be a little high at this point because there's no oil in the filter yet and the vehicle is on the ramps. But make sure you do have oil on the dipstick. Now we're ready to start the vehicle and back it off the ramps. First, start the engine and make sure your oil pressure comes up. Now after you back it off the ramps, we want to make sure the vehicle is on a level surface so we can check the oil again. First, we remove the dipstick and wipe the oil off. And this is the same procedure that Greg had covered with us earlier. However, when we recheck the oil this time, the oil level should be between the add and full marks on the dipstick. All right, we need to reset the oil life remaining switch. And the way we do that, we hit the second button here, and it tells us our oil life remaining. And then we want to hit the check mark and hold it to reset it. Well, if you own a 2007 Chevy Silverado, we hope that this video will help you change the oil in it. And as always, we welcome your comments at teachmeallo.com. Just send an email to comments at teachmeallo.com. Thanks. Have a great day.